let's maybe talk about a deal, um, which, yeah. which I think is a deal. Yeah. Um, so in, where is this one? Tennessee, maybe? Mississippi, probably. Okay. Um, so another one of those, you know, $10,000, $15,000 houses. I got him down to, from 15 to 11. <clears throat> He's from at 11. ARV is 20. His estimate rent is 550. Mm -hmm. He owns it free and clear. Mm -hmm. So there's no payment. And I got him down to 250 a month. What's the rent you said? 550? 550. So I would pay principal and interest. Insurance? No, not included. So again, super cheap in that area. So add another 100 mm -hmm. for combined taxes insurance. So my PITI would be 350. 350. Rent rent 550 yeah just needs a little bit of work you know cosmetic right. um you're not doing that work though absolutely not well that's right. two thousand miles away so that's i would probably end up doing that work so my wife thanks you for making sure that i do deals out of state so i don't go there <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> but um again there's just that one crutch of well it's I mean, only five thousand people town. yeah yeah no forget that it doesn't doesn't even matter yeah, I would. Do you have that one signed up yet? Um, actually, he was a realtor, so I was. I saw that he was a realtor. He was the listing agent and the lead that came to me. I was like, "What's this guy doing?" I'm about ready Is to he let. the owner? And it turns out he's the owner. So yeah, um, he's he open to terms. The okay. And he did want a down payment of thirty five hundred. So, I'm still do almost that. okay with that. Don't no. do that. Okay. That's so whatever you. Whatever you put out on the down payment, you got to get that back and then some to have from your buyer's down payment for you to have a front end profit on this thing. Exactly. And on a $30,000 house, I mean, who knows? You might only get three grand out of the buyer. Agreed. Who knows? Okay. So you're not going to tell the seller, yeah, I'll give you three grand. And, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I agree. Just tell them like, I ah, just can't make that work. Are you sure that's the best you can do on that? I mean, yeah. You know, I'm not charging you any fees, Mr. Seller. I'm paying all the closing costs, right? Mm -hmm. I make my money, uh, you know, the difference between what I can collect from my buyer and what I, what I got to pay out to you. So what, uh, how close to zero can you get? Right. And if it ends up being 1500, I mean, you're still thinking maybe no, I mean, the ideal is zero. But if it's not zero, is that, I don't know if that's a deal breaker. <clears throat> so at that point, you got to weigh, you know, how much your time is worth um, and the benefit of you doing this deal. Now, there are, are other benefits to you doing this deal other than just the financial benefit because you're going to build up some momentum. This will be like your exactly. second deal, right? <clears throat> right. So there is that. Um, but at a certain point, you're going to get to a place in your business where you're going to see a deal like this and the seller is going to ask you for 1500 bucks and you're thinking, well, shoot, I could probably only get five grand out of this thing. And I got to pay 1500 to him. Eh, it's not even worth it. And then you're just going to tell the seller, yep. no, nah, I can't do that. And he'll probably come back and say, okay, let's do it, do it your way with zero down. But if he doesn't, yep. if he's hard on that 1500 and then just... I'm sorry, man. I can't, you know, but see, that's got, that's a judgment call you got to make, right? Are you willing to work for less money? Now at this point, like I said, there are other non-financial benefits to you doing it just for the practice and the exercise and the momentum. <laughs>